everybody, it's Tiny Tess here again for another episode of One Hot Ticket, and this review slash suggestion is Last of the Mohicans with Daniel Day-Lewis. Um, once again, this came out a while ago, so you should be able to find it at most movie stores. Who can forget that look of Daniel Day-Lewis running just for his life? <laughs> um... The reason I like this movie is, one, it's based on a classic novel by James Fenmore Cooper, and it follows basically the trials of two Indians and a white man that was raised by the Indians. Um, Uncas is his brother. Daniel Day-Lewis plays Hawkeye, and he's the white man. And then his sort of adopted father is Chingachgook, and they are the last of the Mohicans. That's why it's named that. But it's really not about that tribe and why they're the last or anything like that. It's more about um, the French and Indian War. Um, there's a love triangle, well not really a triangle, but you know, that doomed love. That Anyway, lots of fight scenes. This is a good one if you're a girlfriend or a wife and you're trying to find a happy medium for you, your husband, boyfriend. Men will enjoy this. There's, you know, fight scenes, explosions. Indians with you know, sharp objects. <laughs> um, there's red coats, there's the French, there's just, you know, it's a very tumultuous time in America's history. Really great scenery, really beautiful. I would love to go on a vacation and see some of the areas where they filmed. It's just, it couldn't be any more gorgeous. There's some very um, memorable scenes underneath the waterfall where he pledges to her, you know, I will find you. You stay alive. It's very, very um, <laughs> parodied and memorable. Once you've seen it, trust me, you'll never forget it. But another reason I love this movie is the soundtrack. I own the soundtrack on CD. It's very, it's musically based. There are a couple of um, voice singles, and I think it's by Clonade, which I think is part of Enya's, Enya's family or her sister. I can't remember, but there's some sort of, you know, it's that ooh, ah music. But there's really great violin. The the, basically the theme song is wonderful. Now I'm going to tell you, basically the last 10 minutes of the movie is the absolute best last 10 minutes of any movie out there that's ever existed. I can't describe to you. I mean, if you don't want to watch the whole movie, maybe you don't want to sit through the whole um, political drama and the fight scenes and things, you just need to watch like the last 10 minutes. Everything that's important ever happens in the last 10, maybe 15 minutes. There's a really great area of the movie where it's just music and it's them running around and there's no dialogue and it couldn't be more powerful. Honestly, I think it's one of the best 10-15 minutes of a movie anywhere. I love it. I wish I could just show it to you here, but I don't want to ruin it for you. I'm not going to tell you what happens. I'm just going to tell you, um, maybe if you don't like the beginning part of the movie, grin and bear it, go make some popcorn, let your husband watch it you know, whatever. Rent it and only watch the last 10 minutes. You'll still understand what's going on. It's really great, really powerful. Um, and I, I just can't give it any more than two thumbs up. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. It's one of my favorites and I hope it's one of yours. Much love. So, since I recorded this video, and while I was taking time to edit it, I noticed that Hulu has Last of the Mohicans available to watch for free on the internet. Now, this isn't very convenient if you want to sit down with your family and watch it, but if you're painting your nails or something at your desk, this is what I do. I watch something on Hulu or Netflix while I'm doing a project or doing art or something, and it's free. So, I will put the link up in the sidebar for Hulu. Um, make sure and check out if it has an expiration date, if it's going to expire soon, obviously hurry up and watch it. I don't know if it's going to be on there forever. Some of the movies are, but not all of them. But it's a great way to get a taste of what the movie's about, maybe. Um, just watch the first ten minutes and see if you like it, or like I said, watch the last ten minutes and see if you really like it, and then maybe you might rent it for your whole family to see or to watch with your significant other, or maybe you love it so much you want to purchase it, which I own it, and I'm glad I do. But I hope that you enjoy the movie and get a chance to watch it for free. Much love. 